What's up YouTube? It's your girl Renee and I am finally back with another video. I know, I know. The last few weeks have been a little crazy. What I thought I could be committed to, I actually absolutely could not be committed to. So I'm just happy that I'm here giving you guys a new video. As you saw by the title, this is like a Valentine's Day look and I'm really, really excited to share with you guys how I achieved this look here. And if you can see, I definitely um, have like more of like a rosy, pinkish, kind of tone going with my eye look and also with my lip color so if you would like to see how I achieve this look definitely stay tuned for the rest of the video I think I will be doing another series part for this Valentine's Day looks um, I will be sharing with you guys a few of my favorite red lipstick colors and products like basically brands that I go to for red lips so my go-to's um, so stay tuned for that and maybe even possibly do a fashion like Valentine's Day look so um, if you guys are interested in that definitely make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and also hit that bell so that you can get notifications on when I actually upload content to my channel so thanks again and stay tuned for this look. as you can tell by the title and the intro this is a Valentine's Day look um, it's a look and I'm kind of, I don't know what vibe I'm going for. You guys already seen it, obviously. But um, I kind of want it to be like really romantic and um, just like really girly and flirty and cute. Um, not too crazy and over the top because if you're going out with your boo, you kind of want to look like effortlessly put together and just amazing. So with that being said, um, I'm going to try to do like a natural slash super glam all in one kind of look um but first so just talking about my hair my hair has been on a journey um i have um been trying to experiment with straightening it and stuff like that i'm gonna actually pull this like little bang part back for the purposes of putting makeup on my face my curl pattern has not been the same since i straightened it and i did not i don't think that i have like heat damage i mean if you think that i have heat damage let me know down below and how to cure it but i don't think i have heat damage i feel like my hair is just literally i don't know just doing its own thing i'm actually using the nyx shine killer this is their uh, one of their primers and it works pretty good um i'm not a person who likes silicone based primers so i tend to shy away from these because i feel like they're oily i don't like the way they feel on my hands let alone my face um but i'm gonna just you know keep giving it a try um because i feel like my skin has changed a little bit i'm not as oily as i used to be I don't know if that's due to me like drinking more water or changing my skincare regimen or what. So now that I have that like all worked in, I usually go in with my airspun translucent powder and I set the um, primer. Um, I'm following like a couple of different YouTubers that do this. This technique really helps to seal the deal when it comes to um, setting and making sure that your foundation is like on point and in its place pretty much all day or at least for your whole entire event or whatever. So I just take it, dab it literally generously all over my face and then I just work it, work it in. And this has been helping to like really set my primer and my foundation just my base overall from getting like super oily and anything like that i've been loving using the um maybelline fit me foundation i feel like it's a good one um i actually just switched to a different shade lately um but what i was using is the 355 coconut i did pick up the new shade like i was saying and it is in color truffle 362 truffle and this is also the matte and poreless i tend to like gravitate towards foundations that are a little more for like mattifying the skin and giving it like an even you know base um so i'm going to actually use a little bit of this i'm also going to of course i cannot not use the nyx total control foundation drops i love this stuff i've talked about this i think several times on my channel how it really helps to make the base like really rich and um it doesn't look as flat i feel like that's what i was struggling with a lot in 2017 like my base was just so flat and i was just wondering like what was going on and it just was a really harsh contrast between my contour and my actual foundation and i was just like okay what is going on so i'm gonna just put a little bit of this on the back of my hand 
and then so I just have like that much and then I'm gonna also put some of these total control drops like right on top of that as you can tell the total control drops are a little bit darker not that much um the color in which I use is deep rich which is a really nice brown tone it pretty much matches my skin tone but it's like actually a little bit darker like just a little bit but I find that it really works with my foundations for some reason like maybe my foundation needs to be darker but sometimes I can't find a shade dark enough anyway so I'm gonna take this foundation brush this is from Sigma this is their foundation f60 brush and I'm just gonna take that and start like painting it basically on my face Sometimes I go in and I use a color corrector, especially if I'm having some like extreme breakouts. I am like healing from some breakouts that I had over the last like few weeks um, that are like trying to go away. Thank goodness. Um, especially on Valentine's Day, you don't want those breakouts all over your face and stuff. So, um, so if you do have that type of issue, then it maybe it would be best for you to color correct and or conceal them with concealer. Um, but I am going to just skip all of that because first of all, I'm not going anywhere as of right now. Um, you know, I'm just at home doing this makeup look for you guys. Um, but I think that if you were, if it was the night of, you'd want to be as flawless as possible. So in an effort to like create a flawless base, I think it would be a good idea to color correct if you need to. Okay, so now that I have that pretty much spread around my face and neck area, I look real crazy <laughs> in the viewfinder. But um, I'm actually going to use my beauty blender to kind of pounce this into the skin. And I'm going to wet it. I use it, um, I use this tea tree water. This is a toner from um, Lush. And I just like to wet my entire beauty blender if I don't go like all the way to the bathroom and like like submerge it in water like I just use that and so I'm going to just pounce that into my face just to really blend in this foundation all right so now that I have that pretty much blended into the skin I'm next going to go into concealer and use that as my highlighter I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes a little bit on my forehead down the bridge of my nose and a little bitty bit on my chin I do have like a smaller chin so I don't feel the need to like excessively like highlight um, so I'm gonna go in and I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer I'm using it in five um and i feel like the color is nice and rich but it's not like too crazy where i feel like um it's too light for my skin tone i'm just using that same foundation brush and i kind of just dipped it into the product and i'm going to just like put it right in the areas where i want to highlight so i'm going to go ahead and blend that out with my beauty blender the exact same one that i used earlier to pounce out that foundation i'm just re-wetting it with the toner water from lush and i'm going to go ahead and just blend that all out so what i like to do also after i'm done like blending to the best of my ability i guess um all of my like concealer i go ahead and use like the butt section and the butt is what I use to pounce in that foundation and the more pointier side is what I use to go ahead and blend out all of that like concealer so I use the butt um, and I just go ahead and pounce around the area of which like the concealer kind of stopped just to ensure that there is no like harsh lines or anything and just, just kind of have like more of a flawless 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 finish around that area because I don't want, like I said, for it to appear like there's any harsh lines or anything. And because there is still just a little bit of foundation still left on that area, it's easier to just kind of pounce around and blend those like two colors together. I have been running out of my translucent powder from Airspun. The original one that I have been using is the one that's called Translucent Extra Coverage. This one is really, really great. It gives you like a yellowy kind of undertone. I did pick up a new one. I picked up the one in Suntan. This one has more pink undertone. Um, I do have like red undertones in my skin. However, I feel like the pink one is not as great but I have to use what I have. So I'm going to actually um, just tap some of that into the lid. And then we're gonna go in with our um, 
Miracle Complexion Sponge. This is from Real Techniques. This is like basically the cheaper dupe for the Beauty Blender. However, some people of course say that this is better. I tend to feel the same way but it depends on like what product I'm using at the time so for certain things the miracle sponge is bomb and then for other things the beauty blender is bomb so it just really depends I love that I have both because I get that versatility so I'm gonna just take it now it's not super damp like I said I just sprayed it down with that toner water I'm gonna just take it and press it into the powder and then go ahead and press that right directly where I blended out that concealer to bake slash just basically um, set that concealer I usually don't bake um, as far as like an everyday basis. I don't like to do this in this a longer step, especially like if I'm getting ready and if I'm putting on makeup for the day, I want to do a routine that's really, really fast because I don't have as much time. I'm a procrastinator. But when it comes to like events and going out and date night and all that type of stuff, I tend to bake because I want for everything to be like super flawless and I just want to have more of a glam look. And so I feel like if you're doing a glam look, you might as well like take the time and bake. Why not? And if you don't know what baking is, I mean, where have you been? First of all, it's like three years old now or something like that. But, um, it is just basically letting the powder kind of sit directly on top of where you just blended out that concealer and um, you're actually baking the product and sometimes you'll notice that there'll be like little bubbles or like oil pockets that surface onto the powder and it's basically kind of like covering up and clogging your pores I'm not I mean kind of I don't know um, but it just really seals the deal it kind of eliminates any oils from um, really popping through it really sets your concealer um, especially if you are a person who experienced like creasing and all that weird stuff underneath your eyes or if you have a lot of like fine lines it tends to like seep in there and help to eliminate all of that craziness so while that's going on, I'm going to go ahead and jump on my brows. All right, so I've done my brows. I dusted away basically all of the like setting powder that I had baking on my highlighted areas. So now I'm going to just go ahead and set the rest of my face just to make sure that my foundation is going to stick all night basically. Um, the setting powder that I have been using is from NYX. It is the Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation Powder. And I like it. As you can see, I've hit pan. I've been using it like every day. So I'm just taking this really nice, large, fluffy brush. And this is from Sonia Kashuk. So what I also like to do is to set my like powders into my skin is wet my Beauty Blender again all over basically and then I just take the damp Beauty Blender and I just set it right on top of all the areas where I apply that powder just to ensure that it's like setting into the skin and it's not like sitting on top. I absolutely hate that and I hate having like a really flat like face you know once you're like caked on all the powder and then you just look kind of flat basically so i'm going to go ahead and start on the eyes now for the eyes i do want to do like a really nice rosy kind of look i was uh, just thinking about it now and i decided that i want to do like some reds some pinks kind of make the eyes pop and really stand out i'm going to take this like larger fluffier brush and i'm going to just go ahead and tap into this this is the fix plus um no this is the studio fix foundation when i apply it on it becomes like a little more gray um, after a while but I like to use it in my crease just because I feel like it really builds up that intensity if you have any um, like chocolate color you could totally do the same thing um, but I love this color in my crease I know it's odd it's not something that you typically would do but I love that it builds up to this kind of like gray brown color and I'm just doing like windshield wiper motions with my fluffy powder brush 
and I tend to not have as much like lid space like I don't have like a chunk a huge chunk what that I can work with and I think I have semi hooded lens a lens semi hooded lids so my eyeshadow tends to be a little bit different how I apply it just based off of knowing my eyelids um, I'm still learning though how to really make my eyeshadows pop more and learning like blending techniques and what to do to like really make my eyeshadows look really good and um yeah it's just a ongoing process so i'm trying to like really get that color into the outer v just because i want for that to uh, really pop all right so after that, I'm going to go into, of course, none other than the Jaclyn Hill palette. Love this palette. It has something like any kind of look I'm trying to do, I am pretty much can just go to this palette because I know that it will help me out. So in that crease, I want to build up that color. So I'm going to go into this like really nice brick red type of color. And I'm also possibly going to mix it with this like more metallic um, reddish brick type color. I'm trying not to go above the crease with this red color because I don't want it to be all over the place. I just really want it to be centralized right in the crease area. I mean, it is going to blend out some, um, but I don't want it to go like all the way up to my brows. As you can see, like I still have like a little bit of separation. My lid space is really small, so it's quite hard to not go far up, but I'm trying. I think also it really depends on the brush you use as well because sometimes I find that if I use a bigger fluffy brush I am basically covering the entire lid and the entire eye basically is it's horrible so and then once you start you can't go back like it's, it's it's it just is what it is so I'm trying to like centralize it right in that crease area and blend out still just a little bit That's why I like using that brown color because I feel like it helps to transition this instead of it just being like boom red and you know nothing else. So maybe what I'll do, I'm not sure if this is the best decision or not, but I was thinking that I could possibly go in to that metallic color and do it on the outer parts of the lid. So the inner and the outer section and then keep the middle like clean for now. So let's see. I have just another Sonia Kashuk flat brush basically and I'm going to go in with that metallic color. So then I'm going to go back into that fluffy brush. I'm not going to apply any more like product onto it. I'm just going to go ahead and go back in that crease and just do some windshield wiper motions to blend out any harsh lines that have like been created. Okay, so now for the actual like lid center color, I am going to use, I believe it was this one. It's the third like from the outside in and it's a really nice champagne-y golden pink color. It's more of like a blush tone type of rose gold type of color. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use that and I'm going to first apply a little bit of concealer just because I want to make sure that it pops as much as possible. The concealer I'm going to put on my lid is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's in shade uh, 25 but it really doesn't matter. Um, I'm literally going to just like tap it right in that center and then I'm going to use a flat brush to go ahead and blend it out. All right, so now that that is blended on the lid, I'm going to go ahead and take that color and I think I'm going to use a brush so that I can like truly pack on the color. I do like it however I feel like I do need to pick up a little bit more of that like metallic -y brick red color and just put it right in the center again or on the sides I should say and then work it into there and then do the 
the same thing on this outer section here. And then I'm gonna go in with that fluffy brush and blend. So for the under eye area, I am actually going to um, put this color into my waterline and this is from Wet n Wild and it is their Coal um, Color Icon Pencils. And so with this, I am going to just apply it right underneath there. This is a really, really nice like peachy type of color. Um, I can draw it for you. Sometimes it takes a while for it to like really pick up underneath my eye, but that is like the nice peachy color it is. And um, I'm gonna just go ahead and draw that in there. So it definitely gives your eyes like an awakened look, but without mascara, it kind of looks crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my mascara. And the mascara I'm using is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. And I also am going to also use the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara as well. It's a vibe. I have my mascara on. Next, I want to go ahead and start contouring a little bit. And for contour, I usually use this palette. This is from BH Cosmetics. This is their contour and blush palette. And basically, it looks like this. I got this from Urban Outfitters like three years ago or so. And I've been loving it. I mean, I've used this so much and it still hasn't hit pan at all. So I'm like, okay. Thank you. Um, so to like warm up my face and because this color does also help to um, kind of bronze out my skin and give me a little bit more life and pigment back, I'm using this really, really big fluffy kind of almost like a fan brush and I'm just dipping it right into that product and I'm going to just focus it in like the hollows of my cheeks but also like warming up that back area. And then I do my forehead a little bit too. I kind of do it like at an angle. So it's like it swipes here and then it swipes here. I do tend to have like a five head. So under my chin just a little bit. And then for like my nose, like as a nose contour, I'm going to use these like faux um, dupe anise. I think it's artiste. Yeah, these dupe artiste brushes that I um, got I think well I didn't get them um, I got them as a gift but I believe they were from Amazon and I'm just taking like one of these really small brushes and um, it kind of contours to how your nose is shaped naturally anyway um, first of all let's not go crazy So I like curve it down my nose, the bridge of my nose, and then also like into my eye socket, I guess, basically into like the eye area. And so I'm going to take a bigger one and this one is like a little bit like fatter. And I'm going to just use that to blend that downward. Cause I don't want it to be super harsh anyway. I want it to just be like, And blending that into the eye area. So next I'm gonna actually go ahead and highlight and what I've been using lately is the highlight and blush palette or little pack and it's just um, from NYX and they have a couple of different shades. The one I'm using is Nude To Me. It's called Nude To Me and it is this like really nice like orangey type of color but then it has like a highlight at the top which is more of like a champagne-y gold type color. So I'm gonna go in with the more blush color first and kind of set that 
right literally like on top of where that contour was. I like this color because it if you want to have like a blush if you want to wear a blush where your blush is not like super bright pink or like reds and stuff this one still gives you some nice color especially if you're mine skin tone but it also is very toned down um so i do like i like that about it um and then i'm going to take this other like fluffier really nice angled brush and use that for the top portion and that is the like highlight and just like really lightly feather that onto the upper part where I want, where like the light naturally like hits. I'm gonna also take my finger and go down the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. I like to like dust it in the inner corner with my finger as well it makes it look a little less like a little more effortless and then I've also been using this blush from elf it's called a blush but it actually reads more of like a highlight it's in color koi i got this like a few years ago as well if i can find it i will try to link it down below it's really bomb and it's super affordable um but i just put that like right on top of where i placed the other highlighter And so I'm feeling a little like powdered up. So I'm going to go ahead and take a brush and just really like tap on top of this stuff just to blend it in. And I'm gonna pick up some more of that like setting powder just to give myself a little more like brown color in here. And I'm going to spray down my face. I kind of just let that set in so that my skin gets that like powdery look gone away. As for lips, so just like go away, go away, little spritz. Oh, oh, I may be allergic to this. I, I feel like this is like bumps just come about when I spray this, so I don't even know why I sprayed that. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this clip out of my hair so I no longer look like a crazy person and just kind of pick my hair. As for lip color, I want to go like a pinky type of color. My camera overheated, so I was a little like, ah. But I went on ahead and did my lip. Also changed into something a little more like Valentine's-esque. And also I um, spruced up my hair a little bit, just a little bit because my hair is like out of control, I can't. Um, but, so this is the finished look. So for the lips, I ended up doing um, a, like a more mauve kind of pink look, as you can tell. Um, I just felt like it complemented this eye look a little bit better due to the fact that um, it doesn't really compete when it comes to like reds and pinks and stuff like that. So I decided to go ahead and use this liquid lip. It goes on really creamy, but it actually dries down really matte and it is from the company Caked. And I had not heard of this until recently, um, but I really, really love this color. It's a really nice, rich, um, mauve type of color. And on top of it, I ended up using this Ruby Kisses lip gloss. Um, it is a lip lacquer, and it's just a really nice, rich, um, like pink color. And it kind of gives you like a little bit of a rose gold tint as well. So I think this color combo is really nice and definitely complements the colors that are going on 
in my eyes right now or on my lids um and that is pretty much it i didn't really do anything else um i definitely set my eye or set my makeup with the nyx matte finish setting spray i love this one i feel like it's really affordable and it just kind of works best for my makeup once i'm done i feel like it gives me a little bit more of a like calm down look and it kind of tames those powders um but other than that this is the finished look i hope that you guys enjoyed this video um and i will try to do another one i want to talk about my favorite red lips that i actually am wearing and um i think that's very valentine's day appropriate so i will share with you guys that in a next my next upcoming video so stay tuned for that and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you are not a subscriber already, go ahead and hit that subscription button. And also turn on that bell so you can get notifications on when I upload. I will be uploading more content um, and a little more frequently as well. I don't want to like give you guys any type of like deadlines or you know definite days because I'm not really sure yet. But I will say this that I will be committed to uploading a lot more videos in 2018. So thank you guys for being with me on this journey and yeah see you in my next one bye